guys, <clears throat> welcome back to another Jedi Survivor video. EA just dropped a new update on the game today. It was like a 3GB update. It has improved some performance for non-ray trace rendering. So uh, if you just turn off the ray tracing and just play the game, the performance should be improved. So that's what they're saying. Let's see if that's the case or not. So right now I'm playing on epic settings everything is cranked out fsr quality so let's just try turning it off first and see how that will be so we are in this area again we're getting 40 fps 39 40 fps without any upscaling i'm not sure like if i got the same fps before the update or not but we're getting 42 fps so let's see <clears throat> going to high settings if you're able to make any improvements on that just without any upscaling so this is high settings and we are getting close to 60 fps not 60 fps quite yet but we're like close to 60 fps that is that is an improvement, I believe. Because before the update, we are not getting even 50s. And this is on 1440p. So let's just try medium now. Okay, so medium will actually let you get more than 60 FPS. Without any upscaling. So we're getting like, like close to 80 FPS now. That is pretty sweet. Without any upscaling, 80 FPS is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure, like, if you go to high settings, the game, like, actually is limited by VRAM. Because 8 GB is not quite enough for the new games these days. So, like, maybe because of that, it doesn't get 60 FPS, but i am not sure so uh, let's go low and see how much we can get without any upscale getting close to 100 fps okay that is sweet 105 fps without any upscaling on low settings that is definitely an improvement i can say that because we were never not able to get even close to 100 fps with upscaling on low settings before the update getting 75 here That's all right. Okay, now let's go back and tear it on. Let's go back to Epic. And see how how much FPS are we are getting in this area. I think below 40 FPS. Forty FPS without upscaling. I think it's better than previous performance. Okay, let's just see with FSR on quality. Okay, we are getting sixty FPS with FSR on quality. Fifty to sixty FPS on Epic settings on fourteen forty p. Without ray tracing, that is a pretty big jump, I believe. Because I'm pretty sure we were not getting even close to 60 FPS. Without turning everything like below medium. You're only seeing like medium, I mean 60 FPS when we turned everything to medium, not not on Epic, that's for sure. In this area, you're getting 57. 60 FPS on Epic. That's pretty sweet. And the GPU utilizer is at 92, so I think they optimized the game better now. You see on high setting, you're getting 70s now. Okay, 
we're getting more than 60 fps consistently i mean there's like a few drops here and there but that is to be expected 60 to 70 fps on high let's see on medium should be able to get 80 or more definitely because without upscaling we were able to get 90 almost maybe this area is just more graphic intensive compared to the previous one so but we are able to get more than 60 fps on these settings now so that is definitely an improvement in all ways okay, let's see with low settings now okay low settings we are getting 70 fps 75 it's not bad it's about the same performance we just need to find a way through here but hey the game is getting 60 fps or more constantly now let's go back to epic 55 almost 60 fps we're getting like around 50 to 60 fps on epic settings with upscaling and we were getting this amount of performance on 1080p like yesterday and now we're getting the same performance on 1440p so that's a major improvement i gotta say that just for the sake of it let's just try 1080p and see if that gives us a major jump in performance so this is still epic settings and we are getting 60 to 70 fps Hmm. Did it actually improve or is it the same? Because on 1080p we are getting the same FPS. I will definitely have a comparison right next to it so you can see if it, if it is actually the case. Let's just go back to 1440p. We are getting like 60 FPS almost on Epic. Pretty good, I say. It's pretty good. I think the game is not playable. If you don't mind having no ray tracing, I think the game is not playable. You know what? Just let's try with ray tracing and see if it improves or not. So with ray tracing, we lost about 10 to 15 FPS over here. Let's go high and see. I'm not expecting much of a difference here because they said this is just a non-ray tracing performance improvement. So uh, I don't ex expect it to have much of a big jump. But it seems like now we are getting even lower FPS. We're getting about the same FPS, more or less. So. I'm not going to bother turning on ray tracing for now. Maybe that will be for another patch. So for now, I'll just make it epic and then turn it off. And uh, we should be getting around 60 FPS. Yep. 56 to 60 FPS is what we are getting. I say that's a major improvement. And it's pretty good. What the hell is that? So yeah guys, like... This looks like a pretty good improvement. This is the first patch they ever released so far, so... Um, expecting to get more good patches like this in the coming days. And make the game actually really enjoyable for everybody else. So that'll be it for this video. 
Hope you guys like it. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.